If you are running Windows 10 or 11, your PC is likely exposing dangerous services right now. Services like Remote Registry, Universal Plug and Play, Auto Run, and even Open Remote Desktop Ports. They all quietly increase your risk of being hacked or exploited. But what if you could harden your entire system in one click without typing any single command? That's exactly why I built the ultimate secure Windows Hardener, a PowerShell based tool that lets you toggle 15 risky services. You can grab the tool using the link pinned in the the comment section below. The slides with 100% offline and administration approved. Once downloaded, open the downloaded zip file. Just double click the tool. Select extract all to extract it to any folder you like. And run the app as an administrator. Simply follow the prompt to launch the app. you will get a simple console interface like this. Each item in the menu represents a security sensitive window service or settings. Selecting a number will toggle the state of the feature. If it's currently disabled, it will be re-enabled when applicable. The tool auto detects and switches the state without breaking safe defaults. It's perfect if you don't want to mess with PowerShell scripts manually. And you will see it in action throughout this video. Now, if you prefer doing this manually, I've got you covered. Let's start with disabling the simple service discovery protocol and other vulnerable services step by step. Type CMD in the search bar and run command prompt as an administrator to begin. Hackers can abuse simple service discovery protocol for reflection DOS attacks. Type SC, which stands for service control. It is used to manage Windows services. Config changes service configuration. SSDP SRV stands for service name for SSDP discovery. Start disabled set startup type to disabled. This command modifies the startup type of the SSDP discovery service in Windows. Setting it to disabled means a service will not start automatically at boot and cannot be manually started unless re-enabled. The major benefit of disabling simple service discovery protocol is to reduce the attack surface, which will provide fewer ways for hackers to exploit your PC. It also goes a long way to improve privacy by stopping unnecessary network broadcasts. Now let's disable the universal plug and play, which is a major security risk because it exposes devices to the internet, which malware can abuse to open ports. Overall, Universal Plug and Play has very weak authentication. It basically allows unauthorized devices to connect. To disable it, type SC config UPNP host, which is the device host service, which allows automatic device discovery. Start disabled ensures the service does not start at boot. This command disables the UPnP host service in Windows, preventing it from starting automatically. This service is often unnecessary. Most users don't need automatic device discovery. Manually setting it up is more secure. I would suggest you use static IPs, port forwarding, or an manufacturer's app as an alternative. Disabling this feature will improve your privacy because it stops unwanted network broadcasts and it basically has no impact on normal browsing or gaming. It only affects auto discovery features. The next feature to disable is a remote registry because it allows remote attackers to modify the registry. You know, hackers can change critical system settings like disabling security policies and enabling backdoors, which is used in literal movement attacks. Type SC config remote registry, which is the remote registry service, which allows remote registry access. Start disabled ensures the service never starts automatically. The purpose of this command is to prevent external access to the Windows registry. And this will go a long way to prevent unauthorized changes to your registry and also reduce network exposure. Disabling this feature has no downsides in your daily PC use unless you are in a corporate IT environment. The next feature to disable is the simple network management protocol trap because it has no encryption. It sends data in plain text and is very easy to intercept. Hackers can easily extract device names, running services, or network topology from this feature type sc config snmp trap service settings 
Start Disabled prevents the service from running automatically. Disabling this service will reduce your attack surface by reducing your network exposure to hackers and preventing SNMP-based data leaks, which stops devices information from being broadcasted. Now let's disable the remote desktop service. Remote desktop protocol is used to control Windows PCs. The sad truth is hackers constantly scan for open port 3389, which is the access port for RDP. And if you have a weak password, it gets cracked in minutes. Type SC config term service, which is the remote desktop service. Start disabled prevents the service from auto starter. Disabling this service eliminates a top attack vector, preventing unauthorized remote access and reduces ransomware infection risk. The next thing we are going to do is apply strict rules on Windows Firewall in order to block unauthorized network access, which will prevent hackers from scanning open ports. This will go a long way from stopping malware from phoning home to command service. Type NESH, which stands for Network Shell. It configures the network settings. Add Firewall accesses the Windows Firewall with advanced security set all profiles will apply domain private and public networks state on activates the firewall this command basically enables windows firewall for all network profiles now let's create a strict firewall rule blocking all inbound connections type nesh add firewall which configures windows firewall like i said earlier add rule will create a new firewall rule name block or inbound is the descriptive rule name we are using dir in applies to incoming traffic action block drops all matching packets this is a nuclear option against network attacks it blocks all unsolicited incoming traffic like rdp brute force attacks web exploit and zero day vulnerabilities on listening services now it's time for us to harden our user accounts and password. Let's start by disabling the guest account. Taking this action will eliminate anonymous access because the guest account has no password by default and it can be exploited for local privilege escalation, which is often targeted by malware for literal movement. Type net user, which manages the user accounts. Guest, which targets the guest account. Active no, deactivate the account. This command will completely disable the built-in guest accounts in Windows. Now let's move on to enable a strong password policy. Type net account which manages password and account policies. M-I-N-P-W-L-E-N 12 will require passwords to be 12 or more characters. This command will defeat the brute force attacks because 12 character passwords take centuries to crack versus hours for 8 character passwords and this will force hackers to move on to easier targets. Now let's force users to change passwords every 30 days so that it can limit exposure from stolen credentials. The 30 day rotation basically reduces the window for attackers to use compromised passwords. Type net account max p wage 30 sets maximum password age to 30 days this feature is good for financial institution environments because they are high value targets our next step is to change service dependencies on server message block version 1. Taking this action will block vulnerable attacks, which will prevent ransomware from spreading and will go a long way to eliminate about 10 known vulnerabilities. Type SC config. LAN MAN Workstation manages the server message block file sharing. Depend changes service dependencies. Bowser MRXSM B20 NSI keeps only server message block version 2 and above network drivers. The next feature on our list is to disable the auto run for malware protection. This will prevent malware from auto executing from USB drives. Type rec add, which modifies the Windows registry. HKLM Software Microsoft Windows Current version Policies Explorer. This part leads to a system wide explorer settings. V no drive type auto run targets the value name. 
T reg the word is the data type. D255 disables auto run for all drive types. This long command simply disables auto run for all removable drives in Windows, which will block USB malware and prevent 90% of removable media attacks. And it will go a long way to stop accidental infections. This command will provide you with a pure security gain. There's no performance impact. The next feature to disable is a link local multicast name resolution and NetBIOS name service. In order to prevent poisoning attacks, these protocols can leak credentials because it is vulnerable to NTLM relay attacks and network poisoning. Type rec at HKLM system current control set services DNS cache parameters enable multicast T Reg the word D0F. On executing this command, the link local multicast name resolution and NetBIOS name service will be completely disabled, and this will block relay attacks and prevent potential theft from hackers. If you found this helpful but want to save time or secure your PC in one click, grab my secure Windows Hardener tool. It's fully automated, administration approved, and includes 15 powerful tweaks to harden your system's security.